Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. We're out here in the carving tent and we're getting ready to carve some eyes in this bear. I'm gonna show you guys the tools I use and some of the different techniques and steps that I take and that I use to carve eyes in my bears. Now some will be uh, more detailed than others and I'm hoping to bring you guys along in a couple different processes of how I create those. So if that's what you guys are interested in today, be sure to stick around. <laughs> Well guys, like I was saying, we're going to carve eyes into this bear. I'm going to walk you guys through that. Now there is a much easier way to do this rather than carving. It's pretty quick, pretty simple. You only need a couple tools, but there is also some downsides. And what that is, is that it's drilling a hole and putting marbles in. Now you can get 5 8 marbles, like black ones, and get a 5 8 Forstner bit or drill bit, whatever you got to do. Drill in, just pop some eyes in there, and you're done. Now, it's quick, fast, super easy. It really doesn't take any skill to do. The only problem is, is when the wood dries, those marbles tend to fall out. So you could mix some epoxy and kind of like figure out how to get it in there so it'll hold it in place. And now you're really starting to take up more time. I think once you learn to carve the eyes, it's probably gonna take you just about the same amount of time to carve them as it would to drill them out and get the marbles in. Plus, you can buy one bit in a tool and have something that can carve eyes over and over again. If you do the marble method, you have to have a drill, the bit, and you gotta buy marbles over and over again. So now you have to purchase three things and the marbles you have to continue to purchase. If you get a die grinder and one or two of the bits I'm gonna show you in a minute, you've only gotta make those purchases once and as long as you take care of your tools, they're gonna to last a long time so you make your money back on it so just some things to think about the other thing with the marbles like this is a dry piece I could drill it out I could put them in it could be fine wood still expands and contracts with the weather so depending on the season the temperature the moisture and all these hundreds of millions of factors your eyes could still fall out they could it could just happen and then you got to deal with fixing that and a customer and, and all that kind of stuff so just some things to, to keep in mind with a quick easy route but also you know, I, I think carving them is really going to push your skill to the next level and, uh, you know, help you make a better piece, a better project, a better piece of art. So let's get going here. We're going to use the flame bits to start from Sabretooth. Now, just bear with me, my tools are over here. So I'm going to be using their quarter inch flame bit. I think it was quarter inch, quarter inch or three eighths and then the half inch flame bit. Now they both have a quarter inch shaft and they fit right here in my die grinders. The grinders I use, the bits I use today, I will do my best to have an Amazon link to them and the correct sizes. The RZ mask, you guys see me always using this and talking about it. I cannot share the link to this in this video at this time due to the coronavirus. They are no longer available on Amazon. They are worried that companies are price gouging these things so if you want to get a dust mask as of right now go directly to their website or wait till this thing blows over and I'll have some fresh links coming up for these masks so I just kind of wanted to let you guys know about that if you can't find it or if old links are not working it's because Amazon has taken them down because they're worried about prices going through the roof with this whole virus thing so all right let's uh yeah we've all heard enough about that right let's do some work what I'm going to start with is the half inch. I'm also going to put my mask on, so hopefully you guys will still be able to hear me well. If not, I'll have to voice over, but we'll see. Now, I've got the half inch flame bit in here in my die grinder. We're good to go. What I like to do is start kind of at the top and in, and have it at an angle, and start rounding my eye. Now, you guys could take a pencil, Give yourself a rough line, a rough size, or a crayon, and draw it on. I just, I don't know, I just don't do it, because it seems like I can never draw them to match, and so I just get on here, start a rough circle, start making it smaller, and just eyeball the eyeballs, you know what I mean? So let me see if I can zoom this in a little bit closer for you guys, and we'll start actually cutting some wood.
All right, so we got a we got a rough eye due to the angle of the flame bit due to it having this this taper flame bit it actually gives you a rounded look like you get a bubble look on the eye now you do this and you can see the eyebrows and depending on what your cuts look like here he may look angry happy sad and those are things you're going to have to play around with i haven't perfected them yet but you know you take some material away here he looks more sad if you make this a sharper edge coming down you can make him look mean or mad so keep that you know just keep that in mind now we've got a rough circle here at this time i'm going to do the same over here i might be in your guys's way though due to the camera but we'll see how it goes we've got two eyes roughed out okay i did it here i didn't do it here what i do is i take the bit and i follow the fur lines in that i made with the saw so that they kind of come to the eye a little more you can do that or not do that it's totally up to you I'm going to do that over here quick and then what I'm going to do is take the bit and start making the actual eyeball a little bit smaller because bears don't really don't have these big eyes unless you want to make this cuddly bear which is not a big deal totally your preference and style that's fine but I like to hone them in and try to make more of a dome shape so that's what I'm going to start doing. As you can see, it's not really that hard to carve the eyes. It doesn't take that long, I guess is what I'm getting at. It really doesn't. Okay. Now you could be done. You could go to this point, this far, carve them out like this and just be done. And you're done, right? That's it. Quick bears, you're done. A lot of my bears that I just sell at shows, that's it. But now let's say, you know, it's an order. Custom orders. My customers pay a little more for a custom order because... It's a custom order it's a request there's a time frame to to follow and things like that and sometimes they have specifics and so then i put a little more time into the piece okay now you could always put all that time in your piece and make all your pieces just over the top which isn't a bad thing but i try to make pieces that everyone can afford for craft fairs and at the stores that sell on consignment and then when I get custom orders, people that buy my work and know my work, you know, we have a conversation. It's important to have a conversation. You got to be a people person if you're going to be selling your work and explain to them, you know, well, this is the piece, you know, you were looking at. I can make it like that or because it's custom order, we'll have a little more detail in here. We'll, you know, we'll clean up these eyes a little more and we'll do this and we'll do that. And, you know, you sell it. You let people know what you're going to do and how potentially how you're going to do it if they're interested but those, th those things help you sell the piece. So we're gonna switch over to the smaller flame bit now. <clears throat> this, this could be done though. If this is you and this is as far as you wanna go, you're done, call it a day. Hit this thing with the torch, brush it down like I've done in other videos, paint some black in these eyes. Even though I burn them, unless I paint them, if I burn them, I still paint black in these eyes, and then I like to add a little dab of white to really make them look like they glisten or like they have a, I don't know, just a white spot. So, let me get my mask back on here, and I'm getting out the smaller bit, okay? And what I'm going to do is start working on like an eyelid, like the upper part of, of uh, you know, your eyebrow. Oh, you guys can't really see me, can you? Yeah. Okay, so like we're going to kind of work up, up in here. Kind of carve this away and give them a little bit of a look 
this guy's going to be angry so i'm going to carve in kind of make this like an overhang piece and make him look angry right I just went in there and removed a little bit of material and then I also took away here on the side of his snout so his eye can look down the snout more. I'll do that over here. We're going to remove some material and kind of get more of an eyelid going and then we'll remove part of the snout. I do recommend gloves because if it gets away from you, it really tears your fingers apart. I just, I didn't grab mine for this video. Let's bring you guys in. Okay, so we got our eyelid going. We got an eyelid going, right? Cool. Now the bits I'm using are the coarse. They're the green bits from Sabretooth, okay? They work the best, I think, in the soft wood the pine and things like that this is actually a piece of poplar that i'm carving so it carves fairly decent but it still carves you know i'll be honest it still carves a lot like pine it's a little bit harder on the chainsaw than pine but when you're carving with dremels and in these tools it carves the same it still leaves a lot of fuzzies and stuff that you're gonna sand or burn off later anyway so at this point again you could be done you could say that's it i'm done i don't want to go any farther okay that's it. This bear looks great, right? I don't want to do any more work. I'm ready to just sell it. Okay, fine. Cool. Be done. If you want to go one step further, then you got to get the eye bit. Eye cutter? Eye bit? I can't remember what it's called, but it looks like this. It's like a cone shape by Sabretooth. This is on an eighth inch shaft, and you got to have it in your Dremel, obviously, or something that can accept an eighth inch shaft. Now with this, we're going to go through and clean up around the eyeball and around that eyelid and get our lines tighter okay because when you're looking at this bit compared to this bit you see your size difference see the points okay this comes to more of a point so you can get in there and have a little more of a crease or a line so i'm going to do that right now Got a little carried away. So I was able to get my fur up closer to the face, to the snout, I mean. And, you know, this bit, like all those bits are very versatile. They're not just for doing eyes and things. They can be used for all kinds of stuff. But we've got that one eye more defined. See it? So I carved this line around here like this. Got up in here, added some more fur. But now it's much more defined than it was. Look at this side. I don't know, hopefully you guys can see the difference, but, okay, not quite as defined yet. 
So now I gotta go over here on that side. I'm not saying left or right because it's probably backwards in the camera and that'll be just silly. Hey. For me, his eyes are done. You know, at like anything else, you guys could take your time and do even more and continue to refine. Okay, but you see the eyelid on top? Like normal carvings, this would be just about as far as I would go carving wise with with pine or softer wood but there is still another step and tools you could use to go just a little bit farther and that would be hand chisels got this little pack of hand chisels here i got from my local hardware store that i use a lot um i don't know it just says wood carving set there's no real brand on it and you get a few different uh you know deals in here to carve with so we're gonna do that next I'm gonna take this one I have no idea what specific names are for these things but we're gonna take this they're all pretty dang sharp now doing this in pine or softwoods can be tough because they don't always hold the detail that you want hardwood will hold detail quite a bit better but you can get in here kind of go around your eye around where you think the end of the eye should be. I mean, this is pretty much really, like I said, really good from using that eyeball bit. But if you wanted to add that much more detail, you can get in here. And what I'm doing is I'm cutting around the eyeball, like where the eye would round into the socket. Now, a lot of this has just been trial and error for me, guys, just like it's going to be for you. I didn't, uh, I really didn't study with anybody. I didn't do an apprenticeship. I did what most of you are doing. I watch some YouTube videos. I read some, some articles and books. And honestly, I watch hand carvers, power carvers, chainsaw carvers, because there's tips and tricks and techniques that everybody uses that you can use in your carving. Now this one's rounded, it's got more of a U shape, well not quite U, but concaved instead of V shape. That one actually works a little better. You want to start going down the eye. So you're going across the eyeball to that line you made. When you get to that line, you're able to take away some material. But you're not just cutting aimlessly, you're trying to make this eye into a circle or a cat's eye or whatever it is. I mean, we're doing bears because everybody makes bears, right? Bears sell. You talk to just about any chainsaw carver and say, well, what sells for you? Bears. Bears are what sells. Bears always sell, okay? Even when they aren't that great, bears sell. People will buy bears. So why go from the power carving tools to a hand chisel like this to a to a you know what I mean do it by hand well you have way more control okay you're going a lot slower you don't have this bit flying taking away as much material as it wants you do it by hand you can go nice and slow make a small cut at a time and just remove a little bit of material sometimes using the power tool it just removes a lot really really fast Okay, so now we've really defined that eye because I took away like some of the meat here that softened it, that feathered it out, and I made it more concaved. See how this side's like flattened out looking? And this side's more concaved into the head. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side so these eyes match. There's always a little bit of hesitation to go and ask someone how do i do this how do you do that you know how can i make this look this way there is everybody has that little bit of hesitation and you know i will admit though a lot of carvers are pretty open to sharing techniques you know they they seem to really want to help other people i've only met a few carvers that really weren't that way and that's okay i get it not everybody's like that i personally just i don't know i like sharing the things i know or the things I think I know, 
especially to help people that really just want to do something. They have the vision, but they just don't know how to get started. Sometimes that's the toughest part is just getting started. Now this is, you know, a little above that just getting started thing. When you get into trying to do eyes like this and you're really, you know, getting into the detail. It's giving me a tough time though because the wood's pretty soft. I can't get good, uh, good flakes. It just kind of bends and believe me, I got a sharp chisel here, but it's being a pain in the butt. So this is tough with pine. I said it earlier, this works a lot better with hard woods than pine when you get to the chiseling part but you don't have to bring them this far i think it's a good skill to have though learn how to use some hand chisels and get in there and just do it um let's see that's gonna be it i am done carving these eyes i'm done i'm not doing any more work on these there you go okay i really hope that the detail can can you know shine through so you guys can see here um you can actually take another chisel and go through and really just you know clean it up even more to make it more smooth and rounded you could use a little mini flap sander get in here and smooth them out but to be honest for just a chainsaw carving that you know is going to be a considered like uh i don't know production sort of carving that's going to be it for this eye carving video we just did these eyes start to finish i gave you guys like some different you know steps to like a, a beginner a moderate and you know a little bit more complicated you know detail that you can add and do and some techniques i really hope it'll help you guys out and that's as far as i'm gonna go with them now you guys can go ahead you know hit them with the torch you can sand them i do recommend painting them black and doing whatever you want to do from there um sometimes just painting the whole thing black the eyes sometimes stand out sometimes they don't you got to use your little bit of your imagination and kind of go from there i don't want to i don't want to tell you exactly what to do or how to finish your piece because you know if you're an artist and you're striving to be an artist and you're striving to create unique pieces then you've got to try some different things. You gotta try some new things. You can do it. If you're already carving these guys and you're already thinking, you know what, I am gonna go through all three steps for some bears just so I can get this down. I know you can finish these eyes. Like, you can do it. You've got it in you. So, practice. Practice is the biggest thing. I could use more practice in my eyes because they're not 100% the way I like them. And I'll tell you guys that every time on everything I do. I don't think I'm you know, the best carver in any way, shape, or form. There are some amazing carvers out there, some guys that do a much better job than me, and I congratulate them on that because they're able to just get it down, nail it, and their technique is flawless. And they're just good. They're good. But I do believe that this is some really good stuff for people starting out and really good baseline for you to just build off and work your work your skill you know and just get better at it so that's going to be it though that's it for this video for this eye carving video i do believe this bear we are going to continue on to another video and we're going to do his nose and just a simple mouth so we're getting in a little closer by now most of you learning to carve should know how to get your bear this far and so let's just do a nose and a mouth and that's going to be in the next video so be sure to hit subscribe hit the bell so when that video comes up you guys are alerted and uh you know thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time